The South Australian State Emergency Service provides emergency assistance 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Did you know that they're volunteer based? Every day, South Australians give up their time to make sure we are safe. The SES respond to thousands of calls for assistance from communities each year. Chances are, one of their volunteers has saved the life or property of someone you know. Now, Liz, you're Acting Chief Officer for the SES. Can you please tell us how the SES support and help South Australia? We do all sorts of things for South Australia. We, we do land search rescue, we do rescue from vehicle accidents, we do um, vertical height rescue, um, rescues from storms and floods. So we're out there supporting the community in lots of different ways. Now you have volunteers and units all over the state. How many units are there and how many volunteers? We've got um, 67 units spread across the state and um, about 1,700 volunteers. So and they train and maintain their skills to really support the community. Now Liz, you've been holding this hat for a while. You want to put it on for a very special reason, right? We do indeed. We're asking people of South Australia to put on Something Orange on May 22nd to support the volunteers of SES. So grab your Something Orange and stick it on and take a photo of yourself. Oh, I feel like, where's my hat? <laughs> but I will buy a hat. I'll put Something Orange on and thank you from everyone here in South Australia. Thank you to the SES for everything you guys do. Thank you. The volunteers are essential to the SES and they're there to respond to our calls when we need them the most. Julie Page is Deputy Unit Manager of the Waruka Unit on the York Peninsula and has been a volunteer for 41 years. Julie, what made you want to become a volunteer? Well, it was actually a really good friend of mine got me in. I was a CFS member at the time and she said, but we climb on ropes, Julie, we do vertical rescue. And that hooked me. That I got you in? It. Yes. So well, what are you Six trained for? Well. Since I've been in, I've um, trained in the vertical rescue and I've also done road crash rescue. Uh, we do search, uh, we do um, chainsaw, we do um, all, basically all comms, everything, driving the truck, all sorts of things. And I guess because you're out regional, you, you do have to do everything. Basically anything that's needed, we, we get it done. Arian is a volunteer with the Salisbury unit and joined 10 months ago after moving to Adelaide from the Philippines. Ariane, you moved to Australia 10 months ago and you joined the SES. You're at the Salisbury unit, right? Yeah. What made you want to join the SES? It really gives me an opportunity to give back to the community, especially as a migrant. It is such a great feeling to give my time and my service to them. And we say thank you so much oh, for everything you're that welcome. you're doing. The SES is inviting everyone in SA to wear orange on Wednesday, May 22, as a way to say thank you to all the volunteers. So on May 22, we're going to be hosting our very own special WOW Day event in Rundle Mall. Come down and see us from 12 to 2 under the Gawla Place canopy and say thank you to our amazing SES volunteers. All the SES want us to do is wear a touch of orange to say thank you. And when I heard touch, like I really take that quite seriously because I don't do things by halves. So there's my vest, there's my boa and there's my hat. Thank you, SES volunteers. Mwah. Thank you to all the SES volunteers across Australia who work year round to protect us and our most vulnerable. We thank you for saving lives and protecting our communities. To find out more about WOW Day and how you can get involved, head to their website. <laughs>